you have anything? Uh, yes, I have. I have two things. No, I no, I don't. Okay. <laughs> well, two things. One, it, well, this wasn't really top secret. It's that ESP32 tester. Yeah. So I'll show that. But you can show the thing that yeah. I did this thing with you. Yeah. yeah, and then uh, this we're working this up. This is a this is a family photo of all of our puppets. I mean, look, so this is the puppet. top secret because it's behind the scenes. You can see all the. It's literally things. behind the scenes. Yeah. And then um, this was from the desk of Lady. This is how we test stuff, and we we had a little bit of a preview, but I thought I'd show this because it's not really top secret, but sort of top secret. What is this? This is a project I've been working on this evening. It's an ESP32 tester that is run on a Teensy. And the way it works is it actually programs the ESP32 directly over the UART using the built-in bootloader ROM. And the binary file is stored on an SD card. So I'm experimenting with this different way of programming and testing ESP32s without using a Raspberry Pi or a computer, just having it with um, a TNC 3.6. And it is slower um, because I'm not compressing the firmware before I upload it. But so far, um, I think it's a better way of doing it because I can more easily have two running at a time. Whereas with the Raspberry Pi, I feel like it's really hard to have like two on a desk for somebody testing. So this burns two firmware as a test firmware and then does the test and then there's a shipping firmware. And the shipping firmware is the ESP32 SPI code that we've been using in CircuitPython. So this is just my breadboarded version and this is what the tester is gonna look like. It's gonna pogo pins, um, but then you'll be able to use this as an ESP32 coprocessor for your CircuitPython board. And that's what I'm up to. Okay, next up we saw the Google's getting into edge computing and they have this Raspberry Pi-like device. We got one uh, right away and we'll be doing some cool stuff making sure Blinka runs on it. It's got more. the GPIO header. Yeah. So that's promising. It's got so, like USB-C. It, it, to it won't fit in our cases. It's kind of totally different uh, hardware uh, mm. design, you know, but uh, very yeah, interesting. So we're working on stuff. Take. So back in the vault. Google. <laughs>